I am not Latina. Yo no soy Latina. Simply speaking, the Spanish language does not make me part of Europe. Speaking English doesn't make me part of Europe. These two languages have been forced on my people for the last 500 years. Whether you are from Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guatemala, a reservation in Arizona, Mexico City, you have been kept ignorant, subservient to European culture. We are victims of colonialism. A colonialism that began in 1492. We are not the children of Cortez. We are not the people that came on La Pinta, La Niña, La Santa Maria. We have nothing to do with Spain. We are the indigenous people of this continent who are falsely called Hispanic and Latino as a way to kill our indigenous identity and history. We are supposed to disappear like the wind. We are supposed to shatter like the damn ground that we walk on. We are supposed to be turning into ashes. We're not supposed to exist. This is not part of the game plan for the Europeans. And here we are, ignorant of who we are, dyeing our hair blonde, hating who we are, putting blue-green eye contacts, watching novelas of a bunch of bleach blonde women being served by full-blooded indigenous people. Spanish is being glamorized as the most exotic language, and we take pride in it as if it belonged to us. As if our people weren't killed to speak Spanish, like if our people weren't forced to speak Spanish, like if our people weren't raped for the last five centuries to exist as Spanish-speaking slaves of Europeans. Whether you speak English or Spanish, those languages are not us and they do not define us. You see, before we spoke English and Spanish, we were actually speaking languages that reflected us like Nahuatl, Yoemi, Quiche. We spoke languages that reflected who we were. We had languages, we had names that reflected who we were. We had a world view that reflected on us the reflection of the Creator. But these last five centuries of systematic ignorance and this education that only reinforces white supremacy has us confused, lost. But we are here. We are the survivors of the world's biggest genocide where 95% of our population was wiped out. And yet we have no idea. We have no clue. Our parents don't know. They have been working so hard in the fields. A lot of them didn't even finish preschool, middle school. But here we are, survivors, in our own right, in our own land, homeless on our own land. We are Nicantlaca. We are the indigenous people of this continent. We have been divided by false borders. We have been divided by false languages. We are working in the Mexica movement to create an establishment, this unity, the Watinsuyu Nation, Mexica movement, all the way from North and South America. This is our continent, separated by European borders. We walk ignorantly of who we are. We look down on the ground and don't even realize that it is ours. We are the Nicantlaca people and we are learning the truth. Mexica movement, we invite you. Join us in this liberation, the true decolonization of our mind. We are colonized. We do not accept it. We have to fight it, resist it with everything that you have. We are not products of Europe. We are not the children of Cortez. We are not the people that came on La Niña, La Pinta, La Santa Maria. We are the indigenous people that stood before them for five centuries. This is who we are.
but we're taught to be fake white people, a fake imitation of who they are, but we're not. No matter how hard we try to be white, our ancient connection is far too deep to be bleached away by self-hate. Let's love ourselves. Let's learn who we are. Let's decolonize ourselves. Brothers and sisters, Mexican, Central American, South American, Native American, we are one. One people under occupation by European colonization. We are not Hispanic. We are not Latino. We are not Indians because we are not from India. We are the indigenous people from this land. We are Nikan Tlaka. We are Nikan Tlaka. Nikan Tlaka. We are the survivors of the biggest genocide. And we are making sure that we not only, not only survive, but that we wake up and begin to live a true, a true liberating life.